friends welcome back to my youtube channel my name is amanda for this week's fashion video i am sharing a little bit of forever 21 fall finds as well as new arrivals from abercrombie and fitch so stay tuned to see these outfit ideas if you haven't subscribed to my channel already i'd love to have you join the fashion fam here Go down below, hit that red subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Starting out with this cute little mini dress from Forever 21. It is a knit sweater dress, as you can see. It has this nice dark, kind of like a beige neutral color. I did go up a size, so this is the large on me and I am happy I went with the large. And to style this sweater dress, I did go ahead and take this long sleeve button down from my boyfriend's closet. I recommend doing that. Every guy in our life has like a white classic button down. So I didn't feel the need to go out and buy another one. I could just borrow this one. This is a really great trendy piece for the fall. The preppy vibe is still going strong. And I like how comfortable this is, even though it's a bodycon fit. It's a really great material and the length of it is really nice as well. It's not too short. I am wearing my knee high boots here and styling it with my new bag. Oh my gosh. So this bag, I'm going to link down below. I'm obsessed with it. Finally came in the mail. I grabbed this awesome brown and white coat from Forever 21. It is like in a houndstooth pattern. It's really oversized and pretty long. For this, I would definitely go with your true size. It still has a bit of an oversized fit, but the medium is really great for layering my long sleeve white top underneath. This is from Walmart. And then I have my brown faux leather pants. These are from Express. I love these so much. I feel like this is such a walking around the streets of New York outfit. Really trendy to go with this look. I picked up a new bag. This is a Sherpa little tote bag. And the reason why I grabbed this bag is because it reminded me of a Marc Jacobs bag that is on sale right now for like $250. And I grabbed this one at Forever 21 for, I think it was under 30. I'm going to link this entire outfit down below for you in the description box. I do have quite a few new arrivals from Abercrombie to share with you. The first is this pretty dark brown top. It has some cinching in the middle here. Very flattering. I would recommend going up a size. This is the medium and it was a little bit of a struggle to get on. It's pretty, pretty tight fitting actually. Once it is on though, it does feel really nice and comfortable. Right now at Abercrombie, it's under $50. They're having a sale. So I will have this top linked down below. The sleeves are really pretty. They have just a slight little billowing. To style this cinched top, I am going with a pair of jeans from Old Navy. These are my favorite straight leg jeans look really cute with this top just to make it more of a casual style. Here I am going to style this top with another piece from Abercrombie. It's this wool mini skirt. Honestly, this was the first thing that started off my little Abercrombie shopping trip in the store. This wool skirt was online and I went over to Tampa to see if my Abercrombie had it in stock and they did. I can't believe they had my size. This one is the medium and it fits so well. It's definitely a mini skirt, so it's shorter. It still offers coverage that I need and fits pretty nice. This wool skirt also comes in black. This skirt has a little belt here and some notches that you can adjust. 
It also has a side zipper. I'm really liking this look from Abercrombie. I'm going to link these pieces that I grabbed down below for you in the description box to shop. This outfit might be my favorite from the entire try-on haul. I have this new little sweater vest on from Abercrombie. It has a fuzzy material to it, very soft in this little houndstooth. It has a neutral color, which I love, and some cream thrown in. This one is in a medium. I decided to get my true size for this little sweater vest and I think it fits really nice. I have plenty of room to wear my button down on underneath. To really make it a very girly look, I kept on my wool mini skirt from Abercrombie as well. I think it looks really cute tied together. What do you guys think? Are you fans of the sweater vest trend? It also feels very preppy and kind of Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl. For this outfit, I have on my Nordstrom floppy hat and a pair of brown knee-high boots. I kept on my little Abercrombie sweater vest to show you guys another way to style this look. I grabbed my Old Navy jeans. These are really great for the fall. They keep coming back in stock, so I'm going to have my exact jeans linked for you to check out. They run true to size. I have on the 10 here. I think this is another great way to wear a sweater vest. If you don't feel like wearing a mini skirt, opt for a pair of straight leg denim jeans like these from Old Navy. I already love this sweater dress. I did go ahead and try on both the small and the medium while at Abercrombie. And as soon as I put on that medium, it was way too big, too much fabric everywhere. If you are looking at this sweater dress from Abercrombie, I do highly recommend sizing down. The small fits me just fine. I do still have a little bit of extra room in the sleeves, but I think that looks okay. I love the neutral color to this sweater dress. It has a little mock neck at the top and it's made from a very soft knit material. I have it styled here with some knee-high boots from Target in this gorgeous dark brown and my new little handbag here. I grabbed my new Forever 21 long shirt jacket, coat, and just put it on over this sweater dress. I cannot believe how cute these look together. Oh my gosh, this is such a great fall look. I think the colors complement each other so well. We've got the neutrals, a really chic way to style this sweater dress for the fall. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you wear this together? And how do you feel about this pattern? Thank you so much for watching my video this week. I hope I gave you some cute and affordable fashion tips and outfit ideas for the fall into winter. Stay tuned for next week's video and don't forget to go down below and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.